Welcome back to Lucky Tech. Today I'm gonna review this new Ryzen 5600 non-X. Actually, same as 5500 before, this product launched about 2 months ago. For the price of this 5600, it's still slightly above this 1200F and still below the new price of 5600X. Okay, let's just test this processor with the CPU benchmark and also gaming benchmark. First, I test using CPU-Z for quick single-core benchmark. The single-core score is not so impressive, still 5% behind 5600X, far from 1200F. But the multitask is close to 5600X. Next is Cinebench R23. 5600 and 5600X draw about same power and have same temperature. However, 1200F still about 10 Celsius cooler with same cooler. For the score, 5600 is close to 5600X but still far behind 1200F. Now get into gaming benchmark. First game I test is Watchdog Legion. Fifty six hundred score about the same with fifty six hundred X, but twelve hundred F still eight percent better. Next game I test is Forza Horizon Four. 5600 quite far behind 5600X and 1200F. 5600X still 7% better than 5600. And the last game I test is Shadow of Tomb Raider. In this game, all CPU score about the same. Even though 5600 score about the same with 1200F, the 1% low still far behind. Now let's try to overclock this Ryzen 5600. Unfortunately, I can only overclock this Ryzen 5600 up to 4.5 GHz all cores and 1.3 volt. When I add extra hertz, even though I put extra voltage, is always crash. If I put lower voltage for 4.5 GHz is also crash. So the best one is only at 4.5 GHz 1.3 volt. Let's test again with CPU Z. Since only 50 MHz difference than stock, almost no difference in single core, same goes with multi core. The overclock setting draw more than 100 watt and the temperature is rise to 86 degrees Celsius. The score rise about 8% but still cannot get closer to 1200F. Let's test again with the same games. First is Watchdog Legion. 12. No improvement in this game. 5600 OC only have slightly better 1% low compared to the stock. Next is Forza Horizon 4. Fifty six hundred OC has significant improvement in this game. It matched 5600X stock with better 1% low. The last game is Shadow of Tomb Raider.
5600 OC doesn't have any average FPS improvement but have 5% improvement in 1% low. The first is this 5600 is performed almost similar with this 5600X. It's a cheaper processor with almost same performance, which is no point buying 5600X if you just use it at the stock. The second plus of this processor is you don't need to buy a new motherboard. You can just use your old motherboard if it's supported, unlike if you buying the new Intel processor, you will need to buy a new motherboard. Well, not all motherboard will work fine even it say it works like in my previous video. Okay, now let's talk about the minus of this processor. The first is it's perform worse performance per watt compared to 5600X. In Cinebench R23, both of processor draw the same power, but 5600 scores slightly lower. The second minus of this processor is, it's still more expensive than this Core i5-12400F, while this Core i5-12400F is much better in the multitask performance and in most of the gaming benchmark. The next minus, this 5600 has really bad overclocking headroom. I can say that it's not worth to overclock this 5600. It draws a lot of power, but the performance is just similar. Unlike this 5600X, I can overclock this processor up to 4.65 GHz, while this processor I can only overclock up to 4.5 GHz. And with 1.3V is already reaching 105W with my cooler. The performance of overclocking is also still lower than this 1400F. I don't know it's because I got a bad silicon rotary or not, but that's what I get from my test. Okay, now let's get to the conclusion. Is this 5600 is worth? If you are upgrading for the Gen 2 or below, this 5600 is worth as long you not overclock it. You don't need to buy a new motherboard like Intel. However, if you buy a new PC, this Intel Core i5-12400F has much better value. The first is cheaper processor, and the second is it's still upgradable up to 13 gen. So this 5600 is not worth if you buying a new PC because you cannot upgrade it in the future. You can from the performance per price itself, this 5600 is bad compared to the 12400F because this 5600 still about 20 bucks more expensive than 12400F while having less performance than 12400F. Okay, that's all from me. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe. And don't forget to check the link and description below. Thanks for watching.